Welcome to this glute workout um, as part of the Beyond Limit series. I really wanted to give people a start point for a very popular body part, the buns. So we start with the cat cow, uh, really working on end range flexion, end range extension, just to warm up and prep the back for the deadlifts we will definitely be doing. Take your time with these, um, try and synch synchronize your breath with the movement. And yeah, think of it as a wave. You're sending it down your spine. Like I'm trying my best to do here. This is extension. And I'm rounding my spine into flexion. Movement number two is the eccentric pigeon. So the pigeon stretch is known for being great for the hips, for the glutes, for the groin area. I just make it eccentric so that I can give my body a chance to get used to the position. Not forcing anything. Uh, remember, this is our prep, so we're trying to generate warmth. For number three, we're going to go through. Uh, my version of the world's greatest stretch. Um, I keep the simple key elements of it. The front step really opens up the hip. The reach up on the inside, the thoracic spine or upper back. I like to do this on both sides as well. Um, as you can see, my back leg is fully extended. Getting a good groin stretch. Make my way back. Fancy transition. Um, the Jerry going through the movement. She's just demonstrating it on the other side. A lot more gracefully than me. Take your time, um, find, again, find place for your breath. Open up your upper back, and then once she finishes this, she's gonna step back and walk it tall, as gracefully as you can. Number four, um, so this is definitely a staple for any glute day. This helps to decompress my lower back. As you can see, the leg that's moving is trying to imitate like a scorpion's tail, right? So I like to coach height and distance, trying to get the sole of my foot down to the ground and create as much rotational length as I can. Again, demonstrated by Najeri, same process. Take your time with these. Um, first couple, maybe seeing how far you can go. And then again, let your breath lead, let your breath set the pace. Movement number five, the shin box flow, another staple really, um, anything lower body, squats, lunges, I want to make sure that I'm able to internal and externally rotate my, um, or through my hip range of motion. Um, here's me demonstrating with no hands, just a little bit more of a challenge for your core, for your hip flexors, uh, but yeah, choose whichever one suits you. The last movement of the prep, the ham squat, um, what you'll notice with these, hands being underneath your foot, it's going to be easier to come down into the squat, uh, but take your time. Rep number five or six is definitely going to feel a lot deeper um, than rep number one. Again, utilize your breath here at the top, stretching out my hamstrings at the bottom, accessing that um, squat range of motion. Banded work, um, really this segment here is to get your glutes firing. Um, there's a lot of hearsay about how to use bands, but you know, whoever you trust, do what they prescribe. So for me, I like to use the bands um, just to wake up the glutes. As you, as you can see, we started stationary. Now we're going into these um, lateral squat walks. It is a glute session. So we wanna make sure when we go into our compound lifts, the glutes are awake, they're present. Um, we went from lateral to forwards now. Same thing, trying to keep tension on that band. Glutes firing, burns a little bit too. Compound lifts. We are now in the end game. This is where it gets tough, where it gets real heavy, um, where the attention that we paid or spent on making sure that every joint, every part of our body 
was primed for these movements, we now need to trust in. Um, breath is still applied here. Uh, what you can do is descend through the rep. So I like to start at 10 to get used to the movement. Um, work my way down to four, three, two, sometimes one. Um, but brace yourself before every lift. And Joe does a good job of keeping her back flat here, squeezing the glutes at the top. It's almost like a thrusting moment. Moment? Movement. Let's go big boy. I promise I put more weight on that bar, but for the demo, again, hinging at the hips, back is flat, chest is proud. As my hips come forward and my torso comes up, I'm squeezing my glutes like they owe me something at the top. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Control, 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 control. Round two, the Sumo Smith Machine Squat. Say that five times. Um, for this, feet turned out. Just a great way to involve your glutes um, in the squat. Feet are slightly forward as well, just to um, really allow for an easy access to that deeper range of motion in the squat. We are working with Najeri's range of motion. She has gotten a lot better. Um, I'm gonna come through and demo how low I'm at. And again, it differs. As you can see, I'm trying to keep my back flat, chest proud, feet are turned out, feet are wide. They may not look it, but they're wide again. Just getting my um, glutes more involved in the movement, really. Same rep scheme, start at 10, get used to it, work your way down in terms of reps, and definitely work your way up in terms of weight. Single leg work or accessory work. These, yo, these are, these are deceptive. Um, you don't need a lot of weight here at all. I try and make sure that the entire way up and down, um, the foot that's on the ground, the heel stays rooted to the ground. Um, the proud chest, the flat back, same mechanics that we've been carrying through this workout. And I'm gonna pair it with a deficit reverse lunge. Um, slightly leaning over that front foot, we get in some glute activation, some real glute gains on the way up in this movement. Um, challenges, coordination, stuff like that. Feel free to regress this. It doesn't have to be off of a deficit. Feel free to go with no weights, but just like the movements before, get used to them first before you load them. Uh, yeah, in terms of glutes, I didn't want to leave any stone unturned. So these cable pull throughs, as you can see, really like, you know, empty the tank. Like, what do your glutes have left after um, all the work they had to exert so far? Can you now go through a controlled hip hinge into hip extension? and squeeze your glutes at the top while pulling weight between your legs, that's that's where the challenge is. Um, so that's why it's called hypertrophy. It's literally just for muscle growth, um, getting the last little dregs out of the glute tank. I thought this was a good um, superset. You can superset them, you can do them separately. And it depends on where the equipment is, how much energy you have left. Again, um, you don't need much weight for this movement. The angle alone um, <laughs> is going to do the work. Try not to flay your chest up like a cobra. Try and stay slightly rounded at the top. It's still a neutral spine, but you want length in your spine um, so that your lower back can do the work. We don't want your lats taking over. We want the glutes firing, lower back engaged, uh, all that good stuff. That's going to make your butt hopefully look as round as Nigeria's. So we are finished with our main workout. Uh, we're just into a post-workout stretch, something that I will continue to preach. This is almost like the gospel. Um, 
everything we used start there glutes hip flexors hamstrings lower back make sure they get a good stretch right start to see it as cleaning your tools before you put them back in the box so the next time you have a job to do they're ready to go right um using the fact that your body's now warm just like this pigeon here is a great example um, we're holding this stretch as opposed to going in and out of the range of motion in terms of breathing right so this is this is key i should have started with this um, when you're stretching especially especially statically go as far as you can into a range of motion that's comfortable stop there every time you exhale allow that breath to take you further through the stretch um, that exhale kind of has like a, a, a almost like a nervous system response that brings it ease to your body so you're going to resist the stretch or the movement less right so this is the end of the workout um, put it to use put it into your cycle try and do this one weekly if you have glute goals you want to reach um, and go through the whole thing the warm up the hard work and then the stretching at the end thanks again for tuning in um, stay tuned I got a lot more work on the way. Peace!